We thank you for this opportunity, God. We thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning, for this is a day that you have made, a day that we will to rejoice and to be glad in it. Father, we are here this morning just to mingle with you some and just to hear something from you and to be able, Lord, to literally just come to another place in Revelation to just get some different views on things and to be able to glean one from each other. So, Father, we ask that you just come in the midst of us and take a seat this morning. We just invite your presence in. Your Holy Spirit, Father, we invite it in. Father, I thank you for moving upon us, God, moving within our midst, God. I thank you for destroying barriers, God. I thank you for bringing us up to a new level of understanding, Father, bringing us up to another place of more passionate in you, God. And, Father, I thank you on this morning just for you being who you are, God. I thank you that the earth is covered in your glory on today, God. May the world produce that which you have set for it to do, God. May the will of the Lord be done today in its entirety throughout all of the land, God. And we give you praise and glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right. So, look, I want to talk about something that I posted in the trim group yesterday. I'm going to, I want to, I want to indulge in that for just a little bit and maybe, um, Use it to um, discuss a little bit about perseverance. Or um, I'm going to tie it into a little bit about Joseph. So, so I I actually was um, meditating yesterday. You know, just really just thinking, and I heard the Lord speak something to me. So I put it inside of the trim group and asked for everybody's um, response on it, and. Hold on just one minute, y'all. So I asked um, everybody's um, opinion, you know, of their thought or their, not really their opinion. I don't, I kind of, you know, slow for about using the word opinion when it comes to dealing with things where revelation needs to be. But um, I asked, uh, what I wanted was, was everybody's revelation on it as to what it was that the Lord was, um, you know, speaking to me to see, to see if anybody else saw it from the context of where the Lord was giving it to me. So I want to read to you, um, you know, and refresh to those of you that are in trim that got this message, but those of you that haven't heard it, I wanna, I'm gonna read it to you so that you, you know, you can know exactly what. Um, hold on a second, so you can know um, what I asked. And so what ended up happening was, was um, this is what I said. I said, faithful at paying bills does not mean a person has good character. Sometimes it's pride that motivates them. Again, let me read it again. Faithful at paying bills does not mean a person has good character. Sometimes it's pride that motivates them. Now, I want y'all to chime in on this. I want y'all to chime in on it. I want to say it one more time so there's three times in in your membrane. Because I want y'all to chime in on it. Because it's something I want to pull out of this. I really want to pull valid points out of this. This morning. To talk about some things. Alright, so again, this is what I heard the Lord say. Faithful at paying bills does not mean a person has good character. Sometimes it's pride that motivates them. Chime in this morning. Give me y'all thoughts on it. Good morning. I think a lot of times, well, some of the time, people that, well, not some of the time, that can be true because you just make sure you got a place to lay your head. You don't, you don't take into consideration other people around you or either that you could just be nasty. And treat people like crap. Okay. All right. 
anybody else this morning, chime in on it. Chime in on it. We're talking about faithful. I need y'all to catch key words. Faithful at paying bills does not mean a person has good character. Sometimes it's pride that motivates them. It's going to be good. Chime in, y'all. Come on, let's go this morning now. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We up, let's move, let's go. Give me your thoughts. I think it's instilled in your upbringing as far as the the bills. Um, And if you live through some experiences that you don't want to go through again, I don't know whether it's pride or whether it's, uh, I'm going to say one ball ahead to make sure everything's paid on time. Okay. All right. Good points. All right. Anybody else want to chime in? Does anybody else want to give a view on it? Faithful at pain. Go ahead. Um, basically, pride, it makes me look good. So, because it makes me look good, it's not that I really have built character around it, but I have built and esteeming myself around it. So, therefore, I pay things to keep up. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. All right. So, let's dig into it. Let's get into it now. Faithfully paying bills does not mean a person has good character. Sometimes it's pride that motivates them. So let's first talk about good character. Tell me what y'all think having good character is. Give me an example of good character of someone that that you just said, oh, boy, she sure got good character, or he got good character, or give me your definition of what good character is. Alright. I think it's trustworthy that no matter what the situation is, the person's character is that they will do the right thing. Even sometimes when the situation says you can do it and get away with it, that person's character is such that you say they are reliable in that what they practice. It's, it's like a Trusting your child with a daycare provider that nobody will harm them. And that person's character is such that, not that accidents won't happen, but what you believe in them is that they will do the right thing. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Um, somebody that can do the right thing no matter who's around. Whether you're there, when they're there by themselves, their judgment um. Not so much the judgment, because sometimes your judgment you might be going off of emotions, but even then, that they will sit down and think about it and even come back and say, hey, this is where I messed up at. So being accountable for your actions and the way you handle people, no matter who you're around. Okay. All right, anybody else want to chime in? Anybody else want to chime in on good character? Give me your definition of good character. Good morning, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I think it's also trustworthy and um, someone who is not self-centered. They are appreciative of others and respectful and concerned as far as other people's feelings, and they also help to build up others. They're reliable, also. Okay. All right. Anything else? Motive for what they do is not prideful. Okay. So there is no way that you could have good character and have pride in, right or wrong. 
Ja, ich schaue mal. Ah. Okay. Let's kill it. Let's, let's, let's get into this. What if, what if, what if pride is the force that's trying to drive the new character because they're worried about what other people think? So they're going to make sure they do the right thing. That's exactly what we're going to talk about. That's exactly what I want I want to expose. That part okay. right there. Mm. It's going to be doing the job. That part <laughs> right there. That's what I want to expose. That part right there. That's why the Lord said, just because people, he used paying bills as an example in order to catch my attention. Just because people pay bills doesn't mean they have good character. Nope. Doesn't mean they have good character. Now, based off of what we have here, you know, you can have a man that takes care of his house, but he's no good. <laughs> so he pays bills, make sure lights, all this stuff is paid. They got somewhere to stay, but there's there's a wrong gen- um, agenda or motive behind it. He's no good. So when we say good character, these are the things that y'all gave. I wrote them down. One was good steward over anything. Trustworthy. Do the right thing. Someone that does the right thing. Reliable. Does the right thing public or private. Accountable for actions. Not self-centered. Respectful. Helps to build up others. These are the things that, that, that are inside of your psyche concerning someone that has good character. But now, when you look at yourself, let's look at yourself. Would you be considered someone that has good character by your own definition? By your own definition now, by what you say good character is, would you say you are someone with good character? I need some work. <laughs> See. So then what you have to do is is define when you can be honest about the fact of needing some work. What you have to do is you have to define what areas are connected to pride. Where is where is pride or motivation? in things for instance um joseph you know let's think about joseph some say that joseph was walking in an attitude of pride when he told them about the dreams that he had and one um one guy you know kind of theologic uh, man went to say that because in the text it said that Joseph went and reported to his father the thing that his brothers was doing, that's what, you know, made him, they labeled him a tattletale. Then Joseph came back and said to them, I've had a dream that, um, you know, my sheep, your sheaves are going to buy the mine. So they, you know, some have said that Joseph acted in an, ad, ad, in an attitude of pride. And they felt as though that's what caused the brothers to do the things that they did to him, to want to get rid of him, to want to, um, you know, really silence him. They wanted to kill him if it wasn't for the oldest brother stepping up to say, no, don't do that. So um, pride uh, can be a motivating factor, but an underlying hidden motivating factor that will operate in all of our lives, it has operated in mine. So Back to what we were saying, they pay bills, but it's not based off of good character. They're not trustworthy in other areas of things that matter. When you speak of good character, you speak of good character in a whole context. In a whole context. Let me say, let me let me go back to Sharika said this. Good steward over anything. That's exactly right. That is a, a, a precise definition of character. That's not having character and paying the light bill every month, but being a dog 